who said this week, there's no way I'm running for president. It's off the table. I'm not going to do it. Why? Because the most important role for me is that of being a father to my two biggest reasons why, uh, one's six and one's four. And I have been saying that I am so moved that we're even having the conversation that will you run for president? Half of America will already vote for you. I mean, Terry, that's, it's insane. But at the end of the day, we've talked about my first daughter, Simone, before. I'm so proud of her and the hard work she's putting in. But I also know what it's like to be not there at a critical time in her age because of my job. And that job as a pro wrestler took me away 250 dates out of the year, different city every night. I did that for years. It was how I supported my family, and I love what I did. And I don't regret it. But I also wasn't there during these critical times. And if I were to run, and lucky enough, wildly enough, become president, well, then that goes away. And I don't want that to go away. I want my little girls to have a different kind of stability. And I want them to have their daddy in their life. And I want the bedtime routines every night. And I want the drop-offs and the pickups at school. And I want that. And I want that for them. And That's the makeup. Why. And the manicures. <laughs> <laughs> All that, by the way, yes. And, and how they wake me up with, yeah. you know, spraying things on my face and all that. So that's, that's why. Let's talk about Black Adam. Yes. Oh my gosh, saw it last night. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. We made a good one. You made a good one. We Just made a good one. Visually spectacular. We, we wanted to make a movie that was visually spectacular, yeah. that hopefully had a good story. And not only that, but what an opportunity we had to build out the DC universe. Um, and I am a DC fan, DC boy growing up. I'm still a DC boy because I'm still a little kid. But what an opportunity we have to build it out to introduce Black Adam and introduce the Justice Society to as well. Why Black Adam? Mm -hmm. Why did you pick Black Adam? Why was he the right superhero for you? I felt, well, I identified with Black Adam even when I was a little boy and looking at the first Black Adam comics because he was just brown skin. And I, again, growing up a DC fan, my Saturday mornings were all about the Super Friends. And I love the Super Friends, Superman especially. Um, but when I saw Black Adam, I felt like I could relate to him. And Black Adam has all the powers of Superman. And he kind of looks like me. He's got some brown <laughs> skin. This idea that he is like the Dirty Harry of the superhero genre, who, excuse my language, he doesn't take any and he has his own philosophy and his own way, and he will do every, he, some view him as a superhero, supervillain, anti-hero, um, but I also like to think of Black Adam as a protector of the people and the things that he loves in his country. So he has a little bit of a dark side, he has a dark he does. side. We know you as always been so positive and upbeat about everything, so how did you tap into to your dark side? That's a great question. So. People tell Black Adam, you have to be like this, you can't be like that, you can't kill people, even if they're bad people, you have to bring them to justice. You can't, you can't, you can't. You have to think like this, where Black Adam says, well, I'm not gonna do any of that, I'm gonna do it my way, and if you don't agree, that's fine, but stay out of my way, because if you don't stay out of my way, um, then I will become your biggest threat. So for me, I, and you and I have probably talked about this, when I first got to Hollywood, I was told back then, just a few years removed from the very first time that you and I met, um, in 2002, it was, if you want to make it in Hollywood, let's look at who the biggest stars are at that time, George Clooney, Johnny Depp. I was told, if you want to be like them, you want to be a star, whatever that means, then you can't call yourself The Rock, you can't talk about pro wrestling, you're too big, you need to lose weight, go on a diet, don't go to the gym as much. I mean, there was all these things that I was told. You can't do this, you gotta do it like that, and if you don't know any different, you buy into it. So I was told that too back then. So finally, I, <laughs> like Black Adam said, yeah, this ends now. The suit, what was it like when you put the suit on for the first time? The first time I put on a suit, it was, I was like a little kid. It's empowering. Don't let anybody else tell you, yeah. like, oh, yeah, it's whatever. It was really Amazing. cool. It had the muscle padding in, and it was wow. absurd. Because you can imagine my body <laughs> with a muscle, the muscle pad. <laughs> it was yeah. just so... The walk doesn't need any padding. It was absurd. <laughs> so I asked them to remove the muscle padding out of it, and I got to work. And so the final 
costume iteration that you see on screen, that's what we landed with, where there's no muscle padding, just some hard work, a lot of tequila, and, <laughs> and it looks pretty good. And I mean, we know how hard you work out. We see the videos you post. We've, you know, we know everything you do, but did you step it up even more? Is it possible to step up your workout routine? It is possible. It is, yeah, and I wanted to, I, I had one shot with this, Terry. One shot, like you've known me, for, we've known each other for a long time. I have one shot, this is it. Black Adam, for me, this is the most important movie I think of my entire career. This is it. Um, and you're lucky as an actor to get an opportunity to play a superhero, part of a DC pantheon, or Marvel. I like Marvel too as well, but to me, this was one shot. And I felt I should, um, I felt like I should get in the best shape of my life. And not only that, but I felt like Black Adam deserves a, like a transformation. So I really wanted to pour all I had into this role in terms of the training, in terms of the prep, and also playing a character like this that was power born from rage. His family was ripped away from him and he was blessed with these superpowers that is equivalent to Superman, but he doesn't want them. He just wants his family back that he can't get back. So that psychology is a real departure for anything that I played in my career.